everybody. Hi, Cover. Over here, I'm just uh, showing you guys uh, a few ex uh, definition of the blockchain, and uh, I'm gonna focus a bit on the mempool space, and which it basically it gives a lot definition of what is a blockchain and what is a block explorer, what is mining, because we. We don't really um, take time usually to really understand those uh, as they are like the basics of really Bitcoin and any other blockchain out there. So I take the time to uh, define them and gives you uh, like the basic understanding of them today. So let's go on. What is the blockchain? A blockchain is a distributed ledger that records the transactions for a cryptocurrency network. Miners are a man to a, the blockchain ledger by mining new blocks. Right. So basically, they just uh, a distributed ledger uh, that you know, like that's public, right? And everybody can uh, can see what's going on and it just uh, record the transactions. So people say they have uh, Bitcoin uh, on their wallet, but the the truth is you don't really. Ha the Bitcoin is not sitting on the wallet. The Bitcoin is sitting on the ledger, right, on the network. It's not on your wallet. You just your your key, right? Your key just allow you to send that Bitcoin, right? Your private key allow you to send that Bitcoin, but uh, it does not like. You don't really take your Bitcoin in your own uh, possession. It's just like you have the key to unlock that Bitcoin. So what is a, a block explorer? Uh, a block explorer is a tool that enables you to explore real time and historical information about the blockchain of your cryptocurrency. This includes data related to blocks, transactions, addresses, and more. So basically, a blockchain, like a block explorer, like uh, you have block stream, you have uh, blockchain, uh, yeah, you have blockchain, and all of them have their own explorers, right? So then you have so much more explorers out there. So basically, they are the same. They just do the job of holding this this data, right? All the data of the blockchain. Of the record of the blockchain uh, online, and everybody can just go and 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 verify it and check for themselves, right? So this is this is really what it is. So you have uh, the the explorer, but and one thing I would say is when you're going to um, you know check your your your, your transaction, right? When you want to verify if your transaction is, is validating or not, you, you want to keep that private, right? You want to use Tor uh, or some uh, like uh, an exploit that is uh, very private. So you're not like, uh, you know, just for, for privacy, right? Just for privacy, it's way better to use Tor to verify your transaction to explore because if you, when you use your uh, regular buzzing, like uh, Google or other, uh, uh, bo uh, you know, browser, they, uh, you know, they are not that private and they will see your transaction and they will see everything uh, you're doing, right? So be uh, cautious. So what is mining? Mining is the process by, by which unconfirmed transactions in a mempool confirmed into a block on a blockchain. Miners select unconfirmed transactions from the main pools and arrange them into a block such that they solve a particular math problem. Right? So the first miner on the network to find a suitable block earns all the transaction fees from the transa transactions in that block. As a result, miners tend to prioritize transactions with higher transaction fees, so yeah, um, basically uh, this is this is what it is. Miners they just uh, uh, you know trying to solve a particular math problem, 
uh, and uh, once they you know solve it and they get reward um, in the case of Bitcoin they have like they have a block subsidy that really reward the miners at the moment I think it's about six Bitcoin uh, per uh, for reward every 10 minutes so basically uh, you have a new winner and usually what they do that you have a uh, mining pool right because if you have basically uh, uh, you want uh, let's say you you have a uh, like one one Bitcoin miner right so in order for that Bitcoin miner to win uh, the block uh, in the 10 minute the, the probability is very small because there are so many Bitcoin miners right so what they do they create uh, the concept of uh, mining pool right Mining pools are groups of miners that combine the com computational power in order to create, to uh, or in order to increase the probability of finding new blocks. Right. So this you see the concept of a mining pool. You have so many different mining pools out there. They just you know bring all the miners together. Right. They they, they form a block. They form it like a blue, a, like a big group, uh, and then once they uh, uh, mine uh, one block, if one of them mine their one block, and they distribute that amongst all of them, right? But if you like the more, you know, what I mean, so you you raise the probability to win a block, right? So, uh, what does it mean to uh, for the main pool to be full? Uh, when a Bitcoin transaction is made, it, it is stored in a Bitcoin node mempool before it is confirmed into a block. Okay? Uh, so this is uh, about the mempool. Uh, when the rate of incoming transactions exceeds the rate transactions are confirmed, the mempool grows in size. So the difficult, uh, the the default maximum size of a block of a of a Bitcoin node from mempool is uh, three hundred megabyte. So when there are uh, three hundred megabyte of transactions in the mempool, we say it's full. Okay? So this is when you have the mempool uh, full. Uh, you have empty blocks. You have uh, what is my transaction? Uh, why is my uh, why isn't my transaction confirmed? If it's uh, been a while and your transaction hasn't confirmed, your transaction is probably using a lower fee rate relative to other transaction currently in the mempool. Depending on how you made your transaction, uh, there may be ways to accelerate the process. Uh, there is no need to panic. A Bitcoin transaction will always either confirm completely or not at all at some point. As long as you have your transaction's ID, you can always see where your funds are. This site only provides data about the Bitcoin network. It's not cannot help you get your transaction confirmed quicker. So basically, just this is this is uh, basically what it is. When you, your transaction is, uh, when you send your uh, transaction, you just gonna wait until it confirm. Usually, for the Bitcoin network, it's it will confirm, um, like in a later time if you choose like like a very fee wait, uh, but it will always confirm. So I will leave this link below. You guys can. Uh, Continue read for yourself, educate yourself about this. I feel like uh, we need more and more of those type of education, so more and more can be really educated about this, because there are so many uh, misconceptions, and I wanna make sure that I, I educate you about this, guys. And um, anyway, I hope you enjoy, and uh, I will see you again. This was a uh, bike over.